That is Andrew Bird with a nervous tick motion of the head to the left from the uh, initial uh, 90.3, pardon me, 89.3, the current in-studio album. Uh, that's a public radio station up in Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, an in-studio performance by Andrew Bird. Good morning, Vaqueros. This is DJ Doc V. Thanks for tuning in to Office Hours with DJ Doc V. I'll be with you here until 11 o'clock. And i got some great music pulled out for you here. Um, uh, and uh, a couple of new uh, promos that we're going to be uh, doing today. Uh, well, at least one uh, new. We've got the, our calendar starting to fill up. So we've got plenty of uh, original programming during the week. Make sure you're listening to Vaquero Radio wherever you go on the Radio FX app. Uh, if you don't have, already have that, download it from your app store, uh, either Apple or Android. And uh, search for Radio, capital F, capital X, and search for Vaquero Radio. Make sure you favorite us so that when you open the app, it will automatically tune in to Vaquero Radio wherever you are, in the car, on campus, uh, at home, uh, in the shower, I mean, whatever, right? It doesn't matter where. Just uh, just tune in and make sure you listen to us. Got an exciting uh, promotion coming up for valentine's day as well so stay tuned uh make sure you're uh liked us on facebook and following us on twitter and instagram and all the uh, social media outlets so that you can be first to hear uh, we've got some new merchandise uh with a great new logo a cool spaceman helmet and and, and cool stuff so uh we'll be looking for uh listeners that have our station on their phone uh, have their have our app on their phone and uh, uh, and then we're going to have oh, the scavenger hunts coming up. Is that right? That's going to be exciting. So uh, uh, make sure you stick with us and uh, follow Vaquero Radio on your favorite social media platform. Um, we will go back to the music right after this. Apple on Friday morning. That was not about love here on Vaquero Radio, the Valley Student Station. Good morning, Vaqueros. DJ Doc V. Before that, you heard Dear Sweet Filthy World by Elvis Costello and the Brodsky Quartet. Uh, we started off a little bit uh, low-key this morning, I guess. Uh, uh, and at the top of that set, Still the Same by Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Thanks for tuning in. We've got some more great music uh, picked out for you, including a little M. Ward and some Led Zeppelin coming up here in the next set. But uh, also, I've got a great uh, poem picked out for you, once again from the 2022 edition of Gallery Magazine. Another fine production of UTRGV Student Media. Uh, make sure you check us all out on the social media, on the website. You've got KVAQ TV that does their weekly newscast. And uh, pick up a copy of the Rider newspaper at various boxes around the campus. Uh, Gallery Magazine, uh, Vaquero Radio, and of course Pulse Magazine, which is also available on racks around campus. Make sure you pick up that magazine, all the products of UTRGV Student Media, excellent products, excellent content, all uh, all student content mostly. Um, uh, you know, students produce and, and run the station here. Students produce and run the TV station and the writer newspaper and the magazines. Uh, great students, lots of creative uh, entries in those two magazines. So... Uh, Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, let's get back to the music. Uh, I think we're going to kick it up a little bit here. Uh, beats per minute says 100.99. This is I Apologize by Husker Du, only on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. That's Royal Orleans by Led Zeppelin. I haven't played that one before on uh, Office Hours. Hope you enjoyed that one. Before then, Tick by the band Helmet. And we started off that set with Husker Du and I apologize here on Vaquero Radio, the Valley Student Station. Good morning, Vaquero. It's 1034 in the AM. It is 52 degrees here in the beautiful Rio Grande Valley. Uh, our gloom, our gloomy skies have apparently gone away. That's really nice. The last few days, it's been gloomy. It's been cold. Looks like we're coming out of it. Uh, uh, we can expect a high today of 57 so still in the 50s, but then tomorrow a high of 70, sun Sunday a high of 78, and then back into the 80s on Monday and Tuesday with a 15% chance of rain on Tuesday, February 7th. Uh, but right now, uh, 52 degrees here in the beautiful RGV, 
and uh, we're glad to have you with us as we do every week. Uh, we do this day in history, and on February 3rd, 2005, Alberto Gonzalez wins Senate confirmation as the nation's first Hispanic Attorney General, despite protests over his record on torture. The Senate approved his nomination on a largely party-line vote of 60 to 36, reflecting a split between Republicans and Democrats over whether the administration's counterterrorism policies had led to the abuse of prisoners in Iraq and elsewhere. Shortly after the Senate vote, Vice President Dick Cheney swore in Gonzalez as Attorney General in a small ceremony in the Roosevelt Room at the White House. President Bush, who was traveling, called to congratulate him. Certainly a uh, controversial figure in American politics. Uh, the torture memos is something he's probably known best for, but he did speak here at UTRGV uh, a couple of years ago. A uh, new book on the, uh, he, he was had just published a new book. So uh, Alberto Gonzalez, first Hispanic uh, Latino attorney general uh, on this day back in 2005. On this day in 1959, rising American rock stars Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and J.P. The Big Bopper Richardson are killed when their chartered Beechcraft Bonanza plane crashes in Iowa a few minutes after takeoff from Mason City on a flight headed for Moorhead, Minnesota. In 1924, Woodrow Wilson, the 28th President of the United States, dies in Washington, D.C. at the age of 67. In 1912, Governor Wilson of New Jersey was elected in president in a landslide Democratic victory over Republican incumbent William Howard Taft and Progressive Party candidate Theodore Roosevelt. In 2002, the New England Patriots shock football fans everywhere by defeating heavily favored St. Louis Rams 20-17 to to take home their first Super Bowl victory. Pat's kicker Adam Vinatieri made a 48-yard field goal to win the game just as the clock expired. On this day in 1994, President Clinton lifts a 19-year-old trade embargo of the Republic of Vietnam. The embargo had been in place since 1975 when North Vietnamese forces captured the city of Saigon in South Vietnam during the Vietnam War. <clears throat> On this day in 1780, in one of the most famous crimes of post-revolution America, Barnett Davenport commits a mass murder in rural Connecticut. Caleb Mallory, his wife, daughter-in-law, and two grandchildren were killed in home in their home by their border, uh, Mr. Davenport. And finally, in 1950, Klaus Fuchs is arrested for passing atomic bomb information to the Soviets. Klaus Fuchs, a German-born British scientist who helped develop the atomic bomb, is arrested in Great Britain for passing top-secret information about the bomb to the Soviet Union. That's this day in history. Here on Office Hours, I'm DJ Doc B. We've got some more music coming at you. Uh, right now, let's listen to Los Lobos with a song called Peace, only on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. Man, that's such a pretty song. Isn't that such a pretty song? I love that one, man. Ugh. Meatloaf with Heaven Can Wait from his world-famous, award-winning Bad Outta Hell LP uh, from way back in the 1970s. Good morning, Vaqueros. Before that song, you heard Little Baby by M. Ward, and we started off that set with Peace by Los Lobos. Good morning, Vaqueros. 1051 here on Friday, February 3rd. 52 degrees here in the Rio Grande Valley. A nice blue sky out today, little clouds out there. Uh, but make sure you also check out this weekend, we've got the women's basketball team playing tomorrow. Uh, they will be playing, uh, where are they playing tomorrow? Uh, they are playing Southern Utah in the Fieldhouse. So men's basketball is uh, on the road, uh, as is the men's tennis team. Uh, They're playing at Tyler Junior College today in Southern Mississippi tomorrow. But they're on the road. Uh, women's basketball here, 2 p.m. at the Fieldhouse versus Southern Utah. And the Men's basketball team is on the road at Tarleton tomorrow, 4 p.m. for uh, for that uh, show down there uh, uh, in Tarleton. 
So thanks for tuning in to Office Hours as we do every week. I've got a poem picked out for you uh, from the Gallery Magazine, another fine production of UTRGV Student Media. This is a poem called A, Wef a War Refugee's Cry by Ismail Perez. War paralyzes. Where is reality? Where are all those peaceful days? It seemed before there are so many falsehoods in the world. Now I know also a lot of kindness. I have not heard so many words of concern, and the phrase, how are you, got shades. Strangers fleeing in droves, stranded in a foreign land. How often do they ask, where are you? They tell me, hold on, but who do you hold on to? All those close to me told me to go, how bitterly mother cried that night, how hard it sounds to say goodbye. You don't say goodbye. Mom, can you hear me? I'm screaming at you, trying to find a connection. I'm so afraid that suddenly you won't get through. I hope to hug you again. That's a poem called A War Refugee's Cry by Ismail Perez in the 2022 edition of Gallery Magazine, another fine production of UTRGV Student Media. And as we do every week, uh, we already did uh, this day in history, but uh, I'll tell you another uh, fun day in history. This is actually a personal history story. Um, yeah, and uh, as for personal history, today in 1998, what? that's right, 19... Today in 1998, my son, Seth, was born. So a shout out to Seth. It's his birthday today. 25 years young. Uh, love you, son. Uh, hopefully you're listening and uh, tuning in. For now, we're going to play some Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. This is Where the Wild Roses Grow, only on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. <laughs> 